Rapid Pros Flow Builder makes it easy to do everything from sending an SMS or voice call to grouping contacts based on their responses. The Flow Builder also makes it easy to fetch data from an external database. For example, if you are registering water pumps that you have distributed, you may want to validate the pump ID numbers as they are entered during registration. You can also use webhooks to save data gathered in your flow to an external database. In this demo, we will focus on how your organization can use webhooks in the Rapid Pro Flow Builder. In order for webhooks to work, you will need an API, or application programming interface, on your site. Your tech team can build an API that receives data from Rapid Pro and returns the appropriate response as a JSON object, which is just a standard format for moving data online. These are advanced topics, so rather than explaining how to set up such an API, for the purposes of this demo, we will focus on how Webhooks works within Rapid Pro, assuming your API is already set up. Your tech team can serve as a valuable resource in both setting up your API and helping you develop Webhooks that suit your needs. To show how Webhooks work within Rapid Pro, let's recreate the order status checker sample flow found on the Flows page. This example uses a Webhook to look up a customer's order on an external system, check the status of the order, and respond to the user based on the results. Let's start the flow by thanking the user for contacting the order status system and asking them for their order number. Now, we will use their order number to fetch associated data about the user's order from our external API with a webhook. In the Wait for Response window, save the result as lookup response, then click OK. Create a webhook by clicking the flow icon located on the upper right-hand corner of the message window. Select Call Webhook from the drop-down menu and save the result as Lookup Webhook. Here, we will select Post from the drop-down menu. We will then enter the URL of our external server hosting the API. If our server responds with JSON, each property available will be added to the flow. The property set available for you to use is defined when your API is created, so you should also refer to your tech team for the different types of properties that can be used with your API. Webhook results are always designated with at extra. So in this example, at extra dot product, at extra dot stock level, and all other properties will be added as variables for all future steps. As before, click on the upper right hand corner of the message window, but this time choose split by expression and save the result as lookup. Type in at extra dot status to specify that we are interested in the order status of the user. We can save the results as shipped pending, or canceled based on the status our API returns. Now let's send the user a specific message based on whether their order is shipped, pending, or canceled. First, let's deal with shipped orders. Let's tell our user when their order was shipped and when the expected delivery date is. We'll end the message with an option to reply to receive further customer service. For pending orders, we'll provide the expected ship date and the same option for customer service. For canceled orders, let's provide the cancel date and once again, the option to notify customer service. Okay, now we are ready to save all responses to shipped, pending, and canceled messages as comments. We'll also send the user a message letting them know that customer service will be in touch about their order. To notify customer service, we'll send them an email containing the user's order details. Click on the flow icon and select send an email from the dropdown. If the user responds again, we'll save their response as extra comments. As the last step, let's go back up to our original message and deal with responses that aren't valid order numbers. Let's send a message telling the user that their order number doesn't look valid and provide some sample order numbers. That's it. Let's try running this in the simulator. Here, we'll enter CU001 as an example. We can see that we have moved through the shipped path. Notice how at extra.name refers to the name of the user, which is Ben Haggerty in this case. Likewise, at extra.delivery date refers to the expected delivery date of Ben's order. Let's respond with some additional responses to make sure our email to customer service is working correctly. Here we can see that the email has been sent. Everything looks like it's working correctly. Now, if you have already set up your API, you are ready to use webhooks in your own flows to connect with external data and create custom messages based on that data. Go to rapidpro.io to get started and read more on webhooks at this link.